Coach Marcus Hodges here with Separation Team. Where are my playmakers at? Today we're going to focus on the five most important reads that every playmaker has. You got to have these reads. You already know. Let's get it. Playmakers, our first read out of five is when I'm able to get past my defender, it's going to be a dunk or a finish. So that's the first read, easiest read. The reads you guys probably love, when I'm able to do a little shake and bake, get past that primary, let's say secondary doesn't quite help, and I'm able to finish. Or even if he does help, I can euro around him and get to the cup. So our first is gonna be finishing at the basket. That's our first read, our first option, being a playmaker, getting past that primary defender and being able to finish. It can be a floater, it can be a dunk, whatever it may be, just getting past that primary and secondary defender. My second read, now I'm getting past my primary defender. As I'm starting to drive, I'm seeing help side is doing a great job of helping. I'm not able to find any gaps to the hole, so right now I wanna work on being able to retreat. So our second option is the retreat option. First getting all the way to the rim. I don't have the ability to get to the rim. Second, being able to have that retreat. My third option, pass my primary defender. Now, see a player open. Once again, my Steve Nash, my Chris Paul, got to understand where your teammates are at all times. So right now, being able to pass, whether you're hitting your big men in the post, whether you're hitting your shooters in the corner, or whether you're either off a of pick and roll and you're rolling that guy, throwing in the air for an alley and dunking. Third option, making that pass. Fourth option. Kobe Bryant's being able to pull up, whether I'm pulling up right in front of my defender's face because his hand's down, or I pass my primary defender, I see secondary defender, and I have enough space to get my shot. Fourth option, being able to get that jump shot in. Get in there. My fifth option, to make you an elite playmaker is gonna be my drive-through. So that's every single option is not gonna be there. As I'm driving to the rim, I notice I don't have a floater. I notice I can't pass the ball. I really don't have the option to retreat, so I'm driving through. Remember, a driving through can be anywhere, but you're really gonna see it when it's under the basket. Usually when I get here, defenders tend to relax, and this is a great time to find your shooters, or it also, with Steph Curry did a great time, simply turn, find space, and knock down that shot. Fifth option, being able to drive through. And that right there is how you create an elite playmaker. Once again, being able to know your options, and then once you know your options, creating that confidence, working on them, understanding them. Because let's be real, at an unskilled level, you'll see a lot of players start to drive and they'll pick the ball up every single time, forcing a turnover, maybe calling a timeout that's not needed. First option, being able to finish, floater, dunk, whatever it may be. My second option, being able to retreat. Third option, which one, the one we all know how to do, pull up, finding your jump shot. That fourth, making a play off the pass. And that fifth, one of the most important that I see right now, having that drive through drive through and then once again starting to play over find your option if you guys haven't already make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so you're able to see every single video every single upload that i come up with i'm looking forward to it you already know let's get it